Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Bulio Financial ChatGPT plugin that you can use to analyze global stock values with the power of quantitative factor methodologies. Alright, so before I will show you an example on how to use the Bulio ChatGPT plugin, first let's see some use cases on how Bulio can be used for finance and investing. So I have a full article tutorial on my website rihex.com where I talk about how to use the Bulio ChatGPT plugin. And here I have listed out some use cases for the Bulio ChatGPT plugin. So as you can see, the plugin can be used for stock market analysis. So users can request detailed summaries of specific stocks, including their current value, historical performance, and future projections. This can be particularly useful for investors looking to make informed decisions about their portfolios. The Bulio ChatGPT plugin can also be used for global market insights, financial research, personal finance management. It can be used as an educational tool. And if you are a journalist covering finance, you can also use the Bulio plugin. Right, if you want to get some good ChatGPT prompts, I also include some in this article. As I mentioned, you can check out the article in the description below. And by the way, I also have a full database that contains all available ChatGPT plugin currently available from the ChatGPT plugin store. And I also include the best ChatGPT prompts that you can use those plugins with. So if you are interested in that, you can also check the link to that in the description below and get access for absolutely free. So let's see an example on how to use the Bulio ChatGPT plugin. So first you have to make sure that you are a ChatGPT Plus subscriber because at the moment of recording this video only Plus subscribers are able to use and access ChatGPT plugins. Then if you are a Plus subscriber you also have to make sure that the plugins are enabled in your account and you can check that by clicking on your account name and selecting settings and selecting beta features and make sure that the toggle is turned on for plugins. All right, then you have to install the ChatGPT plugin. So click on new chat, select GPT-4 from the model selector, click on this plugin icon down arrow. And if you do not see the Bulio plugin on this list, you have to click on plugin store and search for the Bulio ChatGPT plugin and click on install where you see it. So I've already installed, so it's on the install section and uh, I cannot see the install button because I have already installed it. All right, so click on install here. And last but not least, you also have to make sure that the Bulio Chat GPT plugin is enabled. And you can enable a plugin by clicking on the checkbox next to the plugin name. And keep in mind that only three plugins can be enabled at the same time. So let's see an example how to use the Bulio Chat GPT plugin. All right, so I have added the following prompt. Give me a summary of the stock performance of the Tesla stock. Also give some future projections and share some opinions if it is a good idea to buy the Tesla stock. So as you can see, you don't have to use any kind of fancy functions. You can use natural language. And if the plugin is enabled, hopefully the plugin will be enabled when we execute this ChatGPT prompt. So if the plugin is activated, we should see a green cell here. As you can see, the plugin is activated because we can see the green cell. As you can see, it fetches the prompt we have provided. It's using the TSLA symbol and the region is USA. And hopefully we can get some response from the Bulio ChatGPT plugin to our ChatGPT prompt. And here we go. This is the response from Bulio. So as you can see, it has fetched the information from the Tesla website. So there is a ton of financial metrics here, as you can see. And let's see what is the comprehensive summary we get from the Tesla stock. So as you can see, we get a business description here, some performance description here. So for the three months ended with Q1, Tesla revenues increased 24%. However, the net income decreased to 2.5 billion USD. The estimated EPS was 0.85. The action announced value was this, and therefore it recorded an earnings shock. So it also gives us a ratio analysis. Tesla has a PER of 53, PBR of 12.75. It gives us a Boolean score. I don't know what is that. It also gives us a valuation report and the top 10 stocks in the same industry. So Tesla is among the top stocks in the electric alternative vehicle sector, along with companies like Toyota, Porsche, Mercedes-Benz, and so on and so forth. We also get a link to the detailed analysis from this Taylor website. So based on this analysis, Tesla stock has shown significant growth in revenue, but the net income has decreased recently. The company's Bulio score is relatively low and the analyst opinions were high. It is slightly leaning towards buy and hold recommendations. The valuation report indicates that the stock might be overvalued at its current price. 
Therefore, while Tesla is a leading player in the EV market and has shown strong revenue growth, the decision to buy stock should be made carefully considering its current valuation and recent performance. So you can see also a Tesla share price diagram. So you can see that it has gone up in 2021, but it has decreased in stock price in the last couple of months. But all in all, this is a great analysis, I think. So if you want to use the Bulio ChatGPT plugin, here's how to do that. If you want to get some more advanced prompts, you can check out the tutorial I have mentioned in the description below. And if you want to get the full database of all ChatGPT plugins, you can also check out that in my websites to get access for absolutely free. And if you want to learn about how to use other plugins, make sure to check out my YouTube channels because I have a ton of tutorials on ChatGPT and ChatGPT plugins.